The three-dimensional is always really important because I'm I'm a drawer and I mm -hmm. um, I've always found that that I think drawing uh, everything is drawing and working with sheets of paper. You can see here I just have lots and lots of notebooks and sketchbooks and that's how I tend to to work through thoughts in my head. You know, as I read and um, take notes, but I always even if it's a flat sheet of paper and I'm just using a pencil or a pen making lines, I always somehow see it as a three-dimensional thing. It's not just flat there, it's whatever I'm drawing exists in the world. Mm -hmm. And so I started, um, I don't know, maybe it was 2005, or I can't remember <laughs> time. Anyway, I started taking these these flat drawings and turning them into objects. Oh, I think an easy um, example would be the maps of the world. So I was drawing maps of the world from memory and they were all 2D. Um, you know, I would just sit there, get a pen and, and try and, and draw the world. And every time I made the drawing, it was different. Like sometimes I would forget about India or China or they too big or too small. So I just had lots and lots of different versions of planet Earth from my memory. And then I started making papier-mâché um, globes. So I would just, you know, like when you're a kid, you get a balloon and you cover it in papier-mâché. And I became completely addicted to making these globes. So I had a, taking the, the flat 2D sheet of paper and I turned it into this round 3D and could make the drawing in mm. space. So it was a three-dimensional drawing. And um, I made a lot of those. And they were all inaccurate and kind of wonky. But it was like each memory is slightly different and what is the real one. And so all of these mm. issues are things that I really like. But turning a drawing into a three-dimensional like a literal, actual three-dimensional thing is something that I, um, I think is really fascinating. You get to see it, and with these pieces, I think the the black lines, because if the shadows weren't there and you stood back, you could almost think that it was flat, like a drawing. It could just mm -hmm. have this two-dimensional aspect, and then once you you add in the shadows, then you realize well, it's got this. It exists in the world. It is three-dimensional.